so today I'm dealing with a lot of pest pressure after all this rain. It's finally stopped raining and it's really nice out. It's about 80 degrees and there are tent caterpillars and army worms all over my tomatoes. The pumpkin it does not look like it's gonna make it. It's succumbed to squash bugs and I'm definitely gonna have to do something about it here. So I just wanted to show you all what I'm gonna do. I have one of these five gallon sprayers and you can get it on Amazon and I'll put a link for it down below in the description box of this video. And I literally mix up some neem concentrate and I'll put a link for that too. A little bit of Dawn dish soap and some milk because I also am dealing with powdery mildew on my chamomile. So I'm just gonna go on and spray all these plants that are affected down with the pests and bacterial and fungal things because of all this rain. And I'm just gonna show you what those little caterpillars look like. Can you all see that right there? That is a little suckers right there. There's also one there, but they're just all over these tomato plants and they're just chewing holes in them. Here's another one. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Right there. But they're literally putting holes on these poor tomatoes. Um, see, so I'm definitely gonna spray these guys. I'm gonna take my sprayer, make sure you pump it first. Pump it all the way up until you can't pump it anymore. Make sure you lock it in place. And these things are really useful because uh, you don't really don't wanna go through like if you're having an infestation like this and with a little tiny spray bottle and have to pump everything. I've done that before and it's a super pain. And I don't normally like doing this, but with such a large infestation like that, it's on these tomatoes, it's on the other tomatoes down here. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly. See, that's why I don't like doing this. I won't spray the zinnias. I'll definitely have to spray the pumpkins. Oh, there's a monarch over there too. Look how gorgeous. Look at all these butterflies in my garden. See, this is why I don't like spraying, but sometimes you have to. Just spray all these guys down, get under the leaves, get every part that you can. And I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple times before I get this under control. Die, you worm. Die, you caterpillar. I think they're dead. They're dying. I feel bad, but you're killing my tomato plants. Another spray here. It looks like it killed most of them on these tomatoes over here. I'm just going to go on and preventatively spray, I think, the little baby zucchini squash because they look like they're getting holes in them too. The nice thing about this sprayer is it's going to reach far. <laughs> Alright, just a little spray on these guys. Look at this poor pumpkin plant. I don't think it's going to make it. It was looking like it was yesterday. Oh, I don't know. These squash bugs are just mauling it to death. And I think it probably has some vine borers and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know if there's going to be any saving this plant. Um, also, when you do this, this also is very stressful to the plant, like spraying. Even if it's organic, it's going to be very stressful for the plant. So just take note of that, that you might see signs of stress in your plant from spraying, even organic pesticide. Oh, look at those butterflies. <laughs> I have lots of butterfly visitors to the garden this morning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't you? You think you are gonna run away from me? Oh, that be dead. Be dead, squash bug. It's just a constant battle, guys, with these squash bugs. There's another one. Oh my goodness. He just, he thinks he's hiding. He thinks I can't see him. He's insane. Oh, I just sprayed this beautiful guy by accident. Hopefully she'll be okay. Hey, girl. <laughs> Go into the orange one. On to the beefsteaks. I didn't see any of those caterpillars, those army caterpillars on them, but I'm just gonna do this as a preventative. I did notice it has a lot of black on some of the lower leaves, probably from all the rain, even though I pruned them, or from flea beetles. So I'm just gonna spray this as a preventative. This guy is huge. Some really nice tomatoes on here. 
Look what I found, guys. Can you see him? He's tucked in the leaf. I think this is the culprit right here. It might be a hornworm. Oh my goodness. He thought he was gonna hide. I don't know. Do y'all know what kind of caterpillar this is? I think this is the, the mother or the father of those guys, but he's about to die. If y'all know what this is, please let me know down below in the comments so I can ID this. And he's dead. It's a sad, sad story, but that's just the way that it Yesterday, is. Yesterday, and I was hoping this wasn't the case, that there seemed to be some holes in my tomatoes and my fruit. And look at that, guys. Can you see that? That sucker, he friggin' bore holes in my tomatoes. I am very angry right now. I'm making sure I'm spraying on the back side of these tomato plants, too, because I've seen several trying to hang on at the back sides and make sure if you can spray the undersides of the leaves as well and bite the fruits and if you have some leaves that are curled make sure you check those because that's where I found these these caterpillars he was inside of the the curled leaf trying to hide so it's unfortunate but I'm actually going to go on ahead and cut this guy out that he bore a hole in because I don't want it to encourage more of those kind of caterpillars um to come so you literally see he literally bore a hole right through it i know hornworms do that a lot but that did not look like a hornworm so like this one i probably didn't need to cut off this is actually probably from an effaciated flower which is literally just cat facing which just means there was two or three flowers that kind of grew together and it kind of makes this appearance on your tomatoes but i'm taking it out just in case and i'll show you guys like this one this bottom is probably safe that's probably from like an effaciated flower so what have i learned from all of this pretty much that mother nature is in charge just when you think that you get ahead of something something else happens with pests or something like that but take heart it all works out in the end you plant something you reap something sometimes you have to deal with stuff like this but that's okay you can always use organic measures um you know you can pull them out and spray that at any time uh, i just don't like to do it a lot because it does kind of ward off and it will kill the beneficial ones as well but yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave them below in the comments. If you can help me with identifying that caterpillar, leave them below in the comments. Share, like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post the next video. Be blessed, y'all. Bye.